Uh, Songbirds is uh, probably the largest vintage guitar museum in the world. Everybody I ever tried to talk about it with, I would say that. You just have to see it. What I've been really astounded by is, is the quality of the pieces they've collected. You know, it, the notion of like trying to curate the world's greatest guitar collection. I don't, I can't imagine in my wildest dreams that there could possibly be a collection of the magnitude of what I saw. I mean, we weren't exactly kamikazes, but we were darn near close. None of us had ever started a guitar museum before. I don't think what we did has ever been done. People that traveled from around the world, everybody that came here. Yeah, do we have a green room? Yeah, it's worth about $4 million, so don't spill your beer on anything. Every color of, of uh, Telecaster and Firebirds and uh, the whole collection from the 1966 NAMM show or some things like that. Songbirds has been such a huge part of my life the past few years, especially through the coronavirus. According to the World Economic Forum, the live music performance industry is expected to lose a total of $10 billion from a six-month shutdown. And Songbirds is the next victim to this pandemic. Songbirds in downtown Chattanooga is closing its doors on August 15th. You know, COVID can go suck one, as far as I'm concerned. It has destroyed not, not just what we're doing here, but it's destroyed lives. After losing having that great loss. The, the first thing I wanted to do when I got back to Chattanooga was come here. You will never see, in my opinion, anything like this again, at least for the foreseeable future. It'll be a, probably a long time before anything else on this kind of level pops up again. It was the greatest collection I've ever seen and I was just happy to see it in my lifetime. There is no greater collection to be able to work in the middle of it, for artists to come in and play in the middle of it, they would come off stage saying, I knew I had to bring my A-game because I could feel and sense the history in the room and I had to step up to meet the challenge of all those guitars.